We're all in search of something, whether that be the meaning of life or simply a better alternative to the search box you get when you press on the object fields button in Unity's Inspector. Well, the meaning of life as we know it is 42, and the alternative to the default box is to launch Unity's search window. So how are we gonna do this? Are we gonna need some convoluted code with a decorator wrapper and all the rest? Well, not so fast. When Unity added the search window, it also gave us a new attribute called the search context attribute, which does a lot of the heavy lifting for us. So as you see here, I have a spawn class, and that simply spawns a set creature in the world to attack our player. Now at present, the inspector would launch the next to useless option, but if I add the attribute and set it to show us all objects of type prefab, which is what this search term actually means, now if we look in Unity, we can see that the search service is launched and all the prefabs in my project are shown. Now we can also add some polish to this search window with a few of the search view flags. To start with, I would like it to open in the center of my Unity application. And also the list view just isn't cutting it, so let's make it a grid. Now that's better, but I also want to have the inspector open immediately. As I know for this particular case, I will want a little peek at the creature before I select it. Well, I can add another flag as you see here to do that too. Now it should be noted that only prefabs of type creature are shown, and that is because the type of the field is creature. Now this is a great filtering straight off the bat, but if I had my field as a game object, well, all my prefabs would show up. And I might want to modify this search query to maybe show only prefabs under the creatures directory, as you see here where I've modified the search term. So let's delve into these search queries a little bit further. Let's say I have a variant of one of my creatures and it's in my hierarchy. Well, as it stands, this search that I currently have will bring up both prefabs in my project and in my hierarchy. And I of course can use the tabs to separate them to see which ones I actually want. But I can also add P colon at the beginning of my search string to just see prefabs that are in the project view. Or I can use H colon to just show ones in the hierarchy view. Note that the tabs when I do this, they disappear relevant to which one I'm actually looking at. So we have seen a few variations on the search query and I will leave some links in the description to a Unity documentation explaining them further. However, the easiest way I found to create these search queries is to use the query builder in the search window itself. And I can do this by pressing the various options and then I can press the toggle to flip it back into the string and therefore I can copy that string and paste it into my attribute. Now you may think this is everything you need from this attribute and you may be right. However, there is another option for custom search providers and you can think of these as classes that enable you to create unique searches, for instance, only showing items that have a particular property set. And all of that is a little bit more than I wanted to go into for this short introductory video. But let me know in the comments if you want me to create a longer form video delving into that topic. But for now though, you have everything you need to start performing these searches. So hit the like button if you found this useful and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And no need to search for the next video as it's showing on screen now.